Alrighty guys, today we got a new video. Today, Gwen has finally been revealed all of her abilities. Sorry, the numbers aren't there, but like the abilities are there, the description, and it's gonna be so cool. Uh, you know, shout outs to Skin Spotlights for doing the video, obviously. And I don't know how they keep getting it, to be honest, but I guess they always deep dive somewhere with Riot. But yeah, I gotta see her abilities for sure. And now you guys get to see it too. So let's do it. Oh. She's like a sword, but like a sewing thing. That's her auto attacks. So, Gwen's pass, uh, Gwen, Gwen's passive. Basic attacks deal bonus on hit magic damage based on a percentage of her health. So she can build grass, can deal 3,000 hit point. Basic attacks against champions will heal her for some of the damage dealt. Interesting. It's a percentage of her health. So she's a tank? Okay. So yeah, that blue stuff is the new, probably the passive, right? So attack speed Gwen is going to be OP maybe. Oh, that's the Q. Okay. And then Q. Oh, what? Okay. So Gwen rapidly snips her scissors between two and six times, dealing magic damage in a cone. Wait, tweet. Why, why is it between? Okay. At a minimum, Gwen will snip twice, adding one snip per basic attack. Gwen has landed on an enemy up to four for a total of six. Enemies in the center of each snip will take true damage as well as the bonus magic damage from a thousand cuts. Uh, okay. <laughs> that kind of sounds broken. So we're doing a percent health damage here. Like what? So at the, at the, in the center, right? So, oh, so you see this line here. I'll show you guys right here. Uh, you, you guys see this line, right? That's the true damage, I think. Um, it seems like, yeah, enemies in the center of each sniff take true damage. And then, like, the outside of it is not going to be true damage. So you got to be accurate. So maybe she has some CC ability to guarantee the true damage. I'm not too sure. And she's fighting Viego. <laughs> Ironic. That looks so broken. That's going to be, like, 20% mad maximum percent health or whatever of her health. So, man, I think building just tank on her and just, oh, my God. All right. Let's see what this is. So this is her Zonia's thing, the thing. This makes her invulnerable. We're just looking at the right side. Um, how does it work? She moves with her, but she can still get hit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, let's finally read the description. Gwen spins up the hollowed mist to surround her for five seconds, gaining some armor and magic just went in it, which, but it moves with her. Enemies outside of the mist cannot target Gwen or hit her with any abilities. Okay. The mist will move to follow Gwen the first time she tries to leave it, but it will dissip dissipate the next time. Oh. Okay, so it moves twice. Let's let's see. She tried to leave it, but nah, now he's in it. Okay, I see what's trying to do. Um interesting. So, it'll... I don't think it shows it. Um, Alright, let's see your E. When dashes a short distance... In, okay, wait. What is... Okay. What is this? What? Yo. This is Samira Man 2.0. Okay, Gwen dashes a short distance and empowers her attacks with increased range speed and on hit magic damage for four seconds attacking an enemy during this rhyme time this is time this should be time refines 50 percent of this ability's cooldown okay and empowers it of this ability so she can just constant dash so i'm thinking you just go grasp on her maybe lethal tempo um with a mix of attack speed as well as just tank i'm not too sure uh, what what gives attack speed and hit point? Triforce? Stride Breaker! Wait, that doesn't make sense. Stride Breaker. Gore Drinker. Okay, but that gives AD. No, we're, we're, we're just thinking this really stupidly. Never mind. Maybe she has AD ratios. We don't know, though. But I'm pretty sure... Actually, she probably does have AD ratios. But she does magic damage. Hmm. Might be a little OP. Empowers attack speed. Increased range speed. Non-hit magic damage. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe she's just based off percent health. A 
Aurelia? Is this the old Aurelia R? This has to be old Aurelia R. All right, let's read it. Um, R, Needlework. Gwen can cast Needlework up to three times, but needs to hit an enemy within eight seconds to unlock each subsequent... Subs I can't pronounce that. Whatever. Cast. Each cast fires needles in line of deal magic damage, slows enemies, and apply Gwen's a thousands bonus cut magic damage. So AoE percent. Yeah, just build health on there, right? The first cast will fire one needle. The second cast will fire three needles and the final cast will fire five for a total of nine needles and nine applications of thousand cuts the enemies hit and you can use your cue after so you snip 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 snippy snip so but you have to land it um you have to land it oh man this champ is absolute absolute percent health i gotta see how she works later i don't know why they're gonna be building her tank oh that's her splash heart this is a little too cute uh oh is this is this that new skin? Is this Space Groove? Kiana? <laughs> Sorry, is that Space Groove Gwen? Um damn, so we don't So I actually want to see her gameplay trailer, right? To see how she plays now that we know. Ow. So that's her R. She misses her R, presses W. Snip snip presses Q. Another R, but somehow it hits all of her R's there. Snip, snip, snip. So that's her E, that her R, and then her W. She hits another R, but she has never hit her Q until the Kha'Zix on the behind her. And that's her W there. Moves once, but then it dissipates, right? So. Yeah, like. That's her R. W. That's an auto attack. Snip. That's an EQ. That's a little two Qs. And then she activates her Q instantly. Um, Sorry, can I see this one more time? Uh oh. I'm, I'm just going all over the place because there's a cooldown go on her Q I, like it doesn't go down in cooldown so how does she activate this twice right here like look at this oh that's her E I think that's just her E and this is her actual Q which snips four times that's her E and then she shoots her W as well as her R and then presses E on it that's an extended auto range and this is her next R and then her uh yeah and that's her R, and then she gets her E for some reason, and this is her R. She never used Q right there, but yeah. I don't know. This champ has resets or something on her E cooldowns, like Earth Mode champ. This champ's gonna be broken, especially if she can build tank. So, in my opinion, oh my god, we're, gonna, we're in for a uh, tank, Samira, Assassin, Bruiser, Magic Dam Hybrid, Jax. Honestly, she's going to kick Jax's ass in top lane, probably. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.